So kind of crazy, after two long days, uh, we basically accomplished two videos. <laughs> a, <laughs> he finds it funny, which is great, because normally that would drive him nuts. I'm not gonna have time to show you every little thing because it is gonna take us a few days, but I wanna show you all the different things that can go onto this aqua basin right here. We've got our film crew, we've got our product development team, and we're gonna show all kinds of cool stuff back into our setting right over in here. So hopefully you guys find this enjoyable. You're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna get to see a lot of different possibilities. We're gonna use that same vignette for all the different features and uh, you'll really get to see how different and unique a space can become with some of these Aquascape products. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you before we start picking what type of feature we're gonna put on is just the infrastructure, setting up that aqua basin. When you're thinking of setting up that aqua basin, it's really important to understand the measurements of it. It's roughly four foot by four foot by about 16 inches deep, so keep that in your mind. So when picking the site, it's no different than trying to figure out where would you set up your pond, where would you set up your pond this waterfall. You're looking at sight lines that go towards the house. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna clear this area just like we would in somebody else's backyard, kind of lay out that aqua basin, figure out where it looks best from inside as well as from outside, and then we'll start our excavation. already has a pre-drilled out hole here. This is where my plumbing is going to run. So I'm going to run this this way. Remember, I'm going to try to angle it over towards the pump vault area on this side. Now that it's running the right way, I'll go ahead and stand this guy up. And if my aqua basin is level, then this thing should be pretty level. We want to be level side to side and obviously front to back. So we've got this kind of gravel stream bed that runs through here, leading over to our aqua basin. You would never guess underneath that medium stack slater and we have an aqua basin. We have a bib liner that comes way out here. The purpose for that bib liner is to catch all that splash, let it roll back in so we don't lose all that water. We've added some color back in here, a couple of other accent boulders. Definitely have a retaining wall on the backhand side over there to compensate for the grade change that rolled down this way. And then we put a slightly larger pump on there just to give us a little bit more of effect. Now, if I wanted to make it bird friendly, what I could do is simply by adding our fire fountain kit, I drop this on top. Not only do I get the fire element, on top, I still get the flow I'm looking for coming off of it, but now the top makes it bird friendly. So you'll get tons of birds coming up here to get a drink, take a bath, etc., etc. You guys tell me which one you like better. We're gonna take this out and I wanna show you guys just how different the space becomes when we add a stack slate wall, when we add the spillway bowls, when we add the fountain rocks, when we add the sphere. I think we'll even try to get some of the fire features in there. But pretty cool how we can transform that space so quickly in a matter of a few hours.
hopefully you enjoyed seeing all those different fountain features. It's kind of amazing to me how a single product like an Aqua Basin with just different toppers on it can so transform a space to its own. Whether it's the Stack Slate Urn or the Basalt Columns, those flame features are pretty cool. But uh, tell me which one you liked best. We did the Stack Slate Urn, the Spillway Wall, Basalt Columns, we did the Sphere, we did those four and then we added the fire features to the Sphere and the Basalt Columns, which I really, really like. Now we're about to jump into doing the Spillway Bowls, which are these guys right here. So we're gonna set this up and this up. So we still have our Aqua Basin in here, right where his right, no, his left foot is, is where the big bowl is gonna go. And then we set up that small bowl back in there. It's a little bit more complex than the other ones. All the other features we set up were just kind of standalone features. This one, especially this piece, needs some accent boulders put right around it. So we're gonna set all that up, keep that bib liner intact, and uh, show you one more. 